The most extreme and newest member of the Bronco Off-Rodeo family is open and ready for customers to come and experience all the thrills it has in store. Hey Bronco Nation, I'm Jordan and today we are here at Mount Potosi just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, the home of Bronco Off-Rodeo Nevada and the all-new Bronco Raptor Off-Rodeo to give you a sneak peek at what you can expect for this incredible experience. Now for those who don't know, Bronco Off-Rodeo is an incredible one-day driving experience included with the purchase of each and every one of your Broncos, Bronco Sports, and now the all-new Bronco Raptor. During this one-day experience, you will learn technique, technology, and learn from some of the best trail guides in the business at four incredible locations across the country. As I said, this experience is included with each purchase. It is complimentary to you. And if you wanna learn more about the Bronco or the Bronco Sport Experience, you can click the link in the description to register and attend. But today is all about the Bronco Raptor Experience, which is now open to the public. And we're gonna give you a sneak peek on what you can expect during your one day in the Nevada desert. Now your experience is going to begin here in base camp and immediately after stepping inside, you're going to notice the thoughtfulness and the inspiration that really went into this building. From the photos on the wall showing off the early days of the Bronco racing history to the nine hoods that adorn the ceiling showing off the nine colors that the Bronco Raptor comes in, this building has truly been purpose built to show off the inspiration and the DNA that has gone into the Bronco Raptor. Moving on back to the building, you are gonna notice this gathering area around me. Now this is where you're gonna have lunch and also where you're gonna fuel up, snack up, and hydrate for your time out on the trails. And next we're gonna head into the Mercantile because after an incredible day on the trails, you're gonna want some merchandise and some swag so you never forget this once in a lifetime opportunity. So you can come in here, shop your favorite Bronco, Bronco off Rodeo, Bronco Nation, and Bronco Raptor gear, and take something home to commemorate the occasion. Let's head over to the driver's lounge to meet our instructors for the day and get suited up to head out on the trails. Okay, so we have just finished ground school and the ORX course specifically built for the Bronco Raptor here at Bronco Raptor off road and we are now behind the wheel of my very own Bronco Raptor for the day. Now, of course, with all off rodeos, a Bronco is provided for you, or in this case, it's a Bronco Raptor, and I have selected this beautiful, brand new uh, 2023 Azure Gray Bronco Raptor for the day, and we are gonna get headed right into the rocks. This morning, we're starting with the slow speed section. This afternoon, we'll move to Raptor Valley for all the high speed stuff. It's gonna be an awesome balance of slow and high speeds, showing all the techniques and the capabilities that this incredible vehicle has to offer with some professional and very accomplished trail guides walking us through it all. Now we're gonna head in the driver's lounge to get fit for a helmet for our afternoon high speed ultra four course. Uh, so trail guides here are gonna help us get all ready to go. That's, that's preference. That looks good. Yeah, I, I would go with that. Because remember you are gonna have a chin strap as well. It's my own locker. Yeah, that's all you need to stay back. No. Yep. Okay, we have just finished an awesome lunch here at Bronco Raptor Off Rodeo Base Camp. Say that five times fast. Uh, loaded back up in our Bronco Raptors and back in the Azure Gray one that I was this morning. And we are now headed out to the high speed portion of the experience. Now, we're, we've been told it's about an hour transit out to Raptor Valley, what Off Rodeo is calling the high speed area. Uh, that's really gonna show off these Raptors high speed capabilities, hence the name. Uh, where there's an ultra four course, and we're even told there is a jump 
that all uh, owners will get to do, which is super, super cool. So we got our helmets in the driver's lounge, got fitted for those just a moment ago. And uh, now we have put the vehicle in Baja mode, disconnected the sway bar. And I think we're taking mostly off-road roads out there. Uh, that remains to be seen. Uh, but nonetheless, it is time to pick up the speed and have some more fun in the Bronco Raptor. Hey guys, so we have now made it to Raptor Valley after about an hour of transit from uh, Bronco Base Camp um, where we started the day. We're here with uh, one of our trail guides, Anthony, and we've in Raptor Valley there's three specific off-road modules that are more geared for high speed and kind of Ultra 4 inspired uh, driving. So we're going to be starting on the first module and Anthony is actually going to be driving us through a site lap to get myself familiar uh, with the course and what we can expect. And then when we get back, we're going to swap seats and I'm going to drive it. So Anthony is here right, and he's going to be taking on? us through a site lap on the very first module. Well, I mentioned earlier, you can basically go into the second, third gear, hold it right about 25, 30, 35, 40, and we'll just take it up close. And now we're going to downshift first gear, really just working our way and yep. off gas right before we gas up. Really lifts the nose up so we're not compressing into the jump as well. Okay. Okay, everybody, my turn behind the wheel for this first lap. Well, yep, there it is. Okay, so for the next portion of our adventure, we are back in the Raptor with our helmets back on. And this next Raptor Valley section is the Ultra 4 lap. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Ultra 4 racing is the high speed desert racing like you see at King of the Hammers. It is high speed desert racing, come out with rock crawling. So there's a bunch that goes on there. And today we're gonna be doing the high speed Ultra 4 course and rock crawling uh, to finish off this section. So there's a tabletop jump, which is really exciting. Some silty sections I see, so I think it's gonna be an epic ride. Second gear, if you would like. This is where we'll start to break. We kind of just roll to try to rim the outside. Look where you want to go. Start to build. Build a little bit more. Build a little bit more. Off gas. environment and see how the Bronco Raptor does. Okay, we just wrapped up our time here at uh, Raptor Valley. We did three distinct sections. First was that high speed, rocky, uh, sort of Baja style course, which is really cool, pushed the vehicle a lot. And the vehicle handled it like a champ, honestly, better than I expected it to. And I spent a lot of time in here. The second one was the Ultra 4 lap, uh, where we gotta get a, quite a bit of speed, jump it a couple times, uh, and do more of an Ultra 4 inspired course. And the last one was rock crawling, where I did a varying uh, degree of difficulty, rock crawling, some larger ones, larger rocks, smaller rocks, um, did some spotting. So it was really cool, really good variety, uh, wrapping up our, I guess we've been out here at Raptor Valley for three to four hours now. Um, and now we are beginning our transit section back to Mount Potosi in Bronco Base Camp. Uh, where we are going to have dinner. So yeah, phenomenal afternoon of high-speed adventures in the Bronco Raptor at Bronco Raptor off Rodeo.
Now after an action-packed day out on the trails, tackling all sorts of terrain and gaining confidence behind the wheel, you're gonna end your day here at the Pavilion, where over an incredible meal, you can swap stories from the day, connect with new friends you've made, and enjoy a campfire, weather permitting. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, and we hope you enjoyed this sneak peek of what you can expect from Bronco Raptor off Rodeo. If you want to learn more and sign up for this experience, the Bronco experience, or the Bronco Sport experience, you can head to the link in the description for all the information you can need. As always, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, leave a big thumbs up on the video, click the subscribe button, and if you plan to go to Off Rodeo or have been already, leave us a comment and let us know what you thought or when you plan to go. Thanks so much. We will see you all in the next video.